and today I want to show you how to create a punch template for yourself. So I use this to punch anything that is the size of the page protector. The I'm going to walk you through your steps. The best way to do it is to create a template for yourself. Then you don't always have to constantly like line up your page protector. You learn where center actually is on your punch, things like that. So what I have here is I just took like a thick piece of cardstock and I cut it to seven and eight and a quarter. Okay. However, you'll see possibly here when I line the holes up that there's actually a little bit off the side here. It's slightly more than seven inches potentially, but what you're really looking at is where the holes on your punch will actually line up. I don't know if you can see this. But this uh, rib ribbed line here where the page protector is like put together is actually where my punch is gonna go. So I'm gonna teach you a little bit about how to read your punch. The reason I say that is I had several experiments here. Um, so this is actually center on my punch hole, and that's right here. But I don't know if you can see this. This center is not center on here. Um, I played around enough with my punch that I was able to figure out where center is. I don't know if mine was just created slightly off or what, but it's not like perfectly aligned this way. So this is where creating a template will come into handy. So what I did is, and the reason I'm showing you this is because, so here is a, a, an example that I made. If you fold this in half, I don't know how easy it is to see, but the holes are not lined up on both sides. Okay, they're off. And if you fold it this way, the holes are off. So when I created this one, I was trying to find exact center of my paper, but that is not exact center of my punch. So that is why it took some experimentation. Let's start with creating your template. So I have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock here. And I'm going to first cut seven inches wide, which is difficult on mine because it's right where my seam is here. Okay. And then it'll be eight and a quarter inches long. Okay. You can put that away. We're not going to need it again. So one of the ways that I discovered with some experimentation was taking the actual page protector and I drew where the holes were, okay? If you see here, if you would just hold up this page protector to the holes, it's not lined up, it's too high because it's not centered right. It's further over. So that's why learning to measure off of this ridged line here, at least the way mine is lined up, it will get you closer. Okay, here it's like a perfect alignment because this is a side I actually like tested. So what I did, there are two, three lines on here, okay, you can experiment a couple different ways. You can line up your paper this way and just punch it and be good to go. You can kind of get, I'm gonna do it on this side because the white is the side I want to show. You can line up your page protector here. So my height will be correct this way. I'm not really worried about the width. Um, and I've lined up pretty much center of the edge of my page protector. And I'm gonna draw some circles here that are the full length, or sorry, full circumference of the punch here. 
sorry, it's hard to show you on here. Now, when I put this in my punch, it's not going to be completely perfect. But it'll be darn close. Okay. And you'll notice that I took the back off here. Okay. And if you line this back up, once again, you'll see that it's off to the side here, okay? But if you line it up to the left, everything is perfectly aligned. So if you try to just go like this, it won't work. at this again from the top here if you line up your holes okay, where the page protector goes all right hopefully you can see this you'll see that this is like further down and this is towards the bottom here that is why we're finding center on your own punch will help okay so in this instance I've got my holes totally lined up. And now it's actually centered here, okay? And then I went ahead and I made a little mark. Let me flip it around so you can see. So that when I'm punching other things, I put a tiny little dot here so that I can see where center is. Where this comes in handy is now I can just take any object, pretend this is a full size photo. I can grab my punch, make sure everything is aligned. And now I can punch it without needing to make sure that I have a page protector there. Okay. I have some photos here, and what I did is I took a four by six card, and when I punch things that are smaller, I like them to be slightly above, like I don't want this all the way at the bottom. So I have this lined up so that whenever I need to grab a photo, I can just line it up here, punch. Same with a vertical. I know that I want it to be a little closer to the top just from past experience, so I put my card on here and trace that as well. So now when I grab some extra photos that I have, I can just align my photo right there. I usually don't punch this way when I'm trying to do this so you guys can see here. perfectly aligned photo every time. It'll be more consistent. And you can do the same with the 4x6. The reason why I like having these two extra templates on here is because I like to do a lot of tags of my December daily that are usually 4x6 inches tall. And now I have a perfectly punched photo every time as well. Or you could pretend this is a tag and see where like this part would probably be cut off but it would still catch here so have fun experimenting um learn where your punch is properly aligned and what you'll find is that once you get everything perfectly centered when you do something like fold over your template that's made for your punch you'll see that when it's folded in half my holes line up perfectly so you know that I've found true center and this is like my second one of these that I've used I have also in the past taken let's see if I have a 
a handy six by eight piece of paper. Since this is eight and a quarter, what you could do is also make marks on here for where center is for eight inch paper. And that way, if you have a piece of paper that is eight inches and not the full eight and a quarter, you can still easily grab your punch, find center, and punch away. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I added one more thing to this template in particular. I have a previously punched tag from December Daily, and you can see how tricky it would be to align this. It's slightly off here, so I went ahead and placed it where these holes have already been punched and traced it, and then I labeled the bottom part where the photo would go, and then this part where the tag would be, because it goes up and over a little bit, um, and it cuts just inside of that sixth hole. Um, but when it's in the album, it fits really well. So like you could also go much lower, um, you know, with how you align things. So you could have two here and two here, but I like the look and I feel like it's really nice and secure when it's this way. Um, the other thing that I forgot to mention earlier was this template is awesome. Even if you just take like your page protector, align everything to the left so that it's just where these holes line up, draw on it, and then use your quarter hole punch. It will prevent you from having to grab a page protector every time. Um, if your page protector gets stuck or like jammed in there, it can kind of stretch it and ruin it. But now you can just take your media. This is like one of my experiments here. You can line things up where they need to go, open up your punch, and just punch away. Okay? So, uh, lots of different ways that you can use this and really get a lot out of the template. I highly recommend if you start wrecking it, just create a new one while you have everything lined up and perfectly set up where you go. Um, and like, what I was trying to make clear earlier is worrying about taking a ruler, finding center, measuring things across, that did not work for me. And that's what I was trying to explain. I wasn't sure if I quite got it um, correct. Because if, like I said, if it's full in half, the holes are misaligned. So punch center on your punch, uh, create all your lines, it'll be better off. I said it actually took me like four tries to get it to where I felt really good about my template and so I don't have to worry about lining things up with the page protector or trying to pull the page protector out I can just grab whatever media I have line it up punch and go so hopefully this trick will be really helpful for you and um, make it a little bit easier for you when you're working on your projects. And the really nice thing also that I forgot to mention, it doesn't matter if you're doing a three by eight album or a four by eight album. Like you could create different templates, but you really don't need to. This side is the only part that is important because it could be, this is probably what, five by 12. I can literally just stick that on there and punch it um, and it will be where you need to be. So have fun experimenting and Hopefully this was a good tip for you. Thanks so much. Bye.